Aloha and good morning, afternoon, and evening. Today, we're going to be talking about what keeps us from allowing and what keeps us from receiving. In life, most of us want certain things, and yet it seems to elude us. There is a root cause. So I encourage you to stick around. You might get some value out of today's live stream. I have been doing these live streams along with my assistant, Kristen Rojas, for about three years now. And there is a series of uh, information, education, and wisdom that we've covered. And the, the vast majority of this information comes from my teacher, Dr. and Master Zhigong Sha, who is a world-renowned healer and author. He's also a philanthropist and a person who has a desire to help humanity as much as possible. And so a great deal of the wisdom that I share comes from this teacher. <clears throat> so today, in today's subject, uh, uh, what is the root cause? What keeps us from allowing? What keeps us from receiving? We're going to address that and get to some of the roots of those um, reasons. I personally have had a lot of experience in life where I have not received, pulled my hair out, and then just about everything you probably have as well. And I'll share with you some insights as to how to get over, around, and above all those kinds of blockages. It doesn't mean it'll be an instant miracle, but it does mean that you'll have some tools to work with that you may not have had before. <clears throat> so that could be of good value to you. So I hope you stick around. <clears throat> Today's live stream has most of them. We'll try to keep it uh, at 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, and in the process, what we do is we invite in all the beings of light and we ask them to join us because their light blesses us, brings more positive frequency, more positive energy, positive messages. That's always a good thing. And then we will um, start the wisdom for today. So I want to acknowledge Jen. Welcome. Welcome, Pranjal. Aloha to Dashan. Uh, welcome, NNC. Welcome, Hina. Uh, welcome also to Angelina. Uh, Aloha, Dan. Welcome, Angie Taylor. Aloha, Becky Stryker. Welcome, Rosetta. Thank you, Kristen, for being present. Welcome, Elizabeth. Welcome also to Candy and Christy. Welcome, Maya. And aloha also to uh, Diana Victoria. Welcome, Shelly. Uh, Angelina asks, how can one heal themselves physically and mentally? The short answer is pay attention to all of the practices and the wisdom that Master Shah offers. Uh, put yourself in the Tao source field, the Tao Chang, and do a lot of the practices he recommends. Pick up a book or two of Master Shah's. Uh, it is the fastest way to heal yourself. You can also receive blessings directly from the Master Teachers or even from some of the healers that are within the organization. Um, there is the fast road and there is the slow road. And I've given you a short answer to the fast road so learn a little bit more uh, welcome Giuseppe welcome also to uh, Richard Amodio good to see you here Richard and welcome joy <clears throat> so today you know what really keeps us from allowing what keeps us from receiving it's a it's a subject matter that will hit a lot of people you know right where they really want to know yeah what is it you know I want a million dollars, it doesn't arrive. I want that perfect relationship, it doesn't arrive. Uh, I've asked, I've done this, I've done the manifesting, I've done everything that the books say to do, and yet still it's not here. So we're going to look at some of those roots. So before we do that, though, we're going to connect. <clears throat> and as we always do, we call forth all of the beings of light, and we call forth our own soul. We all have a heavens team. We ask them to be present. And we ask for their assistance because they're the ones that's going to assist us the most. So let's do so. You can uh, join if you wish, placing your hand in prayer position or the soul light, soul service hand position where the left hand drops in front of the heart chakra. So let us begin. Dear our beloved divine creator, all of the beings of light, all the masters and ascendant masters, gurus, lamas, sifus, and saints, <coughs> we love you, we honor you, we respect you. We ask for your presence at this time. Dear our soul, our individual heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints, love you, honor you, respect you. Truly appreciate your unconditional service to our soul journey. We ask for your presence at this time. As we 
delve into the understanding today of what keeps us from allowing, what keeps us from receiving. We ask that your insights come as well and assist each and every one of us with releasing the blockages that inhibits our growth and our success. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We invite the song of love, peace, and harmony to turn on, and we ask all souls in all universes that have a desire to offer their unconditional service, we ask that they sing with us this beautiful mantra. For those that are new, unfamiliar with the song of love, peace, and harmony, you can learn more at lovepeaceharmony.org. Kristen usually posts these links, so you can learn more there. <clears throat> you can also download the beautiful music that will feng shui your environment, bring extraordinary healing frequency to wherever you play it. But for now, we're going to sing it to connect heart to heart, soul to soul, and prepare the uh, light field. So let us join together in one one song, one heart. Lu la lu la li. Lu la lu la la li. Lu la lu la li lu la. Lu la li lu la. Lu la li. Lu la, wo ai wo xin har ling, lo ai tla nan li, ang ling rong har mu shir shang, shang ai ping an er xie, shang ai ping an er xie, I love my heart. And so I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for joining today. Thank you for clicking the share button, let other people know about this. Welcome Jeanette Haswell, welcome Linda, welcome Shirley, <coughs> uh, Shirley Fornasari. Thank you for your presence. So today we're going to be focusing on the root cause from the spiritual perspective. Uh, and we're going to add some mental emotional value to this as well. Uh, welcome Shirley Martin. Uh, we're going to talk about the root cause of why are we unable to allow something to occur and why do we have difficulty receiving that which we manifest that which we put our focuses on so in order to to get to some of the roots we have to work with some basic foundations uh, I'm guessing that most of you would be familiar with these foundations some of you may not be and so one of them is that uh, in the wisdom that Master Shah who is my spiritual teacher, I've, I've trained under many enlightened masters. He is the most advanced that I've trained under, and he continually raises our education and awareness. And one of the very first root teachings that he teaches is that everyone and everything has a soul, and that your soul uh, is the carrier, the carrier of all of your experiences. It is the carrier of all of the messages the messages you thought in your head the messages you've spoken out the messages you've ever received it is the carrier of all the messages of all of the actions that you've ever done and all the actions ever done towards you so your soul is the repository the bank account of all of experiences you've ever had this and other times so your soul carries forth this information and this is a foundational piece of information that must be uh, understood before you can move to understanding why we have difficulty receiving and allowing okay so based on this understanding that everyone has a soul and the soul is the carrier the repository of all positive experiences all positive information all positive messages it is also the carrier of all negative information and messages and accordingly these positive and negative information and messages is one aspect not the entirety is one very important aspect of why we're either able to allow and receive 
or why we are unable to allow and receive. So let's take a look at an example and we'll come to other aspects. So one of the ways in which this might work, for example, is we really want to have a million dollars and we know we would do good things with it and it would help us and we could help others and, and geez, God, why don't you give me the million dollars? I pray every day for it. I go on and buy the lottery ticket once a week for it. How come God I don't have my million dollars? Okay, so part of this is allowing and part of it is receiving, but you open your heart to allowing it and you open your heart to receiving it, but it doesn't come. What's up with that, God? So we raise our fist, we yell at God, we complain every day, right? What do we do every day? I'm sorry, do we complain? Probably. And we wonder and we fear and we go into our proof in our life that we don't have the abundance and therefore we fall out of alignment with one of the other rules of being a human in this universe which is the rule of manifestation now this is something that is taught in various uh, understandings the new age or new wisdom understandings or spiritual understandings the manifestation manifestation uh, has a couple of moving pieces so in order for us to allow in order for us to receive then the manifestation cannot be hampered it cannot be impeded so a manifestation works on the basic understanding of a truth that I accept that God our Creator by whatever name you call it you could say the universe you could say Krishna you could say Buddha you could say Jesus is the Creator it doesn't really matter to me what you call your Creator but the Creator, uh, uh, what, the, what I choose to believe, which you may or may not, is wants for us whatever it is we desire. Our Creator created us in the Creator's likeness, thereby empowering us to be a Creator because we are a spark of the original source. We are a spark of that which created us, innate with all the innate abilities to find our way back home and become one with the light. What is, in fact, enlightenment? It is becoming one with the light from which we were birthed. And in that process of enlightenment, we go through a waking up, we go through a recognition of our original source, and we become one with that light again. So here we are, we're struggling, we have trouble receiving, we have trouble allowing, and we're learning about this thing called manifesting, but what, in essence, is manifesting? Manifesting is being in alignment with the abundance of your originalness, your original sourceness, your original oneness. The statement that I just made is the Creator wants for us what we want. The Creator wants to give us everything that we want. And in that moment, when you say, Dear God, I want, I need, I deserve, I will do good things with a million dollars. In that moment, you did create it. You just created it. It's done. Why then doesn't it arrive? This is the other part of it, the allowing. Because we cannot receive until we allow. And the allowing is what gets short-circuited on a monumental, gargantuan basis. We are all, you and I, experts at short-circuiting the allowing of something to come to us. We are experts at it. Because if we were not experts at it, then we would have that million dollars already. How do we become experts at disallowing things to come to us? We become experts at it because we don't stay in the mental, emotional space of allowing and of trusting. Now, it's easy to speak, not so easy to accomplish. I get it. I've been there probably 45 of my 55 years in this world. Okay, so been there, done that. So what I'm sharing is from experience. How then do we allow what we wish to manifest to come to us? So now we roll back to the first part of the teaching, that we are a soul, and the soul is the carrier, the repository of all of our positive and negative information. Uh, in Tao science, they say positive and negative information. Uh, in in 
uh, spirituality, we might say, are positive and negative uh, uh, messages or harm to others, or thoughts, words, and actions. Either way you want to put it, same, same. <clears throat> These positive and not so positive thoughts, words, and actions cause us to move into a space of fear, doubt, worry, concern, wonderment. Is it ever going to happen? Lack of trust of God, lack of trust in anything. These pre-existing, it's like a pre-existing illness, right? These pre-existing negativities that sit on our soul, sit within our field, our energetic field, are like magnets. If we have a lot of positive messages, thoughts, words, actions, those are positive magnets. What do you think they attract to us? Positive things, positive hope, positive trust, positive allowing. But these negative things that sit in our field, guess who put them there? Who do you think put those negative energetics into our field? That ex-husband that you always complain about? Or yourself? This is another way of expressing what has been expressed hundreds of times before in my live streams. In order to allow, in order to receive, we have to be responsible for the energetics of our personal field. We have to be responsible for what is happening within our own physical, emotional, mental, spiritual body. Master Shah teaches that the soul is first. The soul is above the heart, above the mind, what is the mind? The mind is mindsets, attitudes, beliefs. Are they positive or negative? Right? The soul is above the mind. The soul is above the heart. The heart is the receiver. The mind is the processor. So if the heart is hurt, if the heart has uh, conditions in which it has been harmed by, by others, harm to us. If the heart is uh, greedy, selfish, I'm not, I don't care about you. I care about me. We close our heart, right? That, the heart is the receiver. What kind of messages is given the mind? The mind, then, is part of the manifester. The mind is the director. The mind is the processor. It's just receiving a message, and it gives the order to what? What does the mind give the order to? It gives the order to the energy and the matter. So in this example of receiving the million dollars, is money energy? Everybody, I'm sure, would say, yes, it is. Is money a physical matter? Everybody would say yes. And what precedes energy and matter? What precedes it? The manifestation, right? What precedes the manifestation? The manifestation is brought on, brought on by your mind. What is your mind processing? Is it processing negative or is it processing positive? And, and what preceded your mind? Your heart. Is your heart in love with source? Is your heart trust? The source is your heart open are you kind are you compassionate are you giving are you sharing are you bringing into your physical emotional mental world as much positive energy and positive matter as possible are you bringing into your physically emotional spiritual mental world as much positive thoughts positive words and positive actions how much are you complaining? How much are you yelling? How much are you breaking down and being angry? How much are you blaming others? How much do you complain when you get a bill? How much do you complain about the coworkers? Do you think that is bringing a positive energy field or a negative energy field? Do you think that is creating a manifesting environment of allowing or a manifest of environment of shoving away that which you have requested? Do you think your source creator wants for you what you want for you? Yes, of course. But you're telling your source creator, I want to be angry. I want to be upset. I want to hate. I want to blame others. I want this. I want that. I don't want to trust. That's what you're telling your source creator when you stay out of alignment. Do you get it? You cannot point the finger outside of yourself and say it's everybody else. You have to go like this. And you have to do it all the time. This is the path to enlightenment. My teacher, Master Shah, was teaching very advanced teachings last week about the path to enlightenment. 
and how we have to watch our thoughts, our words, and our actions. You see the four monkeys, see no evil, speak no evil, think no evil. You know what? Some of you will just turn this video off, and you're going to go turn on the boob tube, turn on the TV, turn on, uh, you know, violent music or something that will not assist you in removing negative mindsets, negative attitudes, negative beliefs. You're going to turn on something that allows you to go back into numbness, allows you to go back into a lack of responsibility. Can. Doesn't mean your life's not going to continue to suffer and suck, because it probably will. The only person that's going to change your life is you. And you're just going to have to step up to that plate and get used to, you know, that truth. It might be a sweet truth. It might be a bitter truth. But if your life stinks in a certain area, ain't no one going to change it but you. And in order to change it, you have to start right there, right in the middle of that pile of not so good stuff you're stuck in, right? You just got to start right there. And you got to go, okay, it begins by being responsible for this energetic field that I am wallowing in. That's where it begins responsibility and then we apply master Shah's wisdom we do forgiveness practice because in order to uh, for allowing and receiving to occur we have to shovel out the negativity right we have to just dig in and shovel it out and we have to make sure what's filling in that hole is what positivity and no one's going to do it for you so choose instead to watch happy comedy choose instead to say nice things to other people. Choose instead to make amends with the coworker that is a really unpleasant person. Choose instead to do forgiveness. Choose instead in each new moment to not react. Two days ago, my wife was really upset with me. Rightfully so. She was it totally in her rights. You know what happened? Something unexpected happened. And I was like, Ugh! And she didn't have anything to do with it. And I caught myself in about eight seconds. I'm getting better. And I was just like, okay, it's gone. I can't change it. I'm over it. We'll figure it out. And then I just started talking about something else. Am I human? Absolutely. Do I screw up every day, a hundred times a day? But I am taking responsibility in that moment. Who's taking responsibility for you? Somebody else? You have to catch yourself being unpleasant. You have to catch yourself hurting yourself. And you have to uh, make an agreement to shift it as quickly as possible. You have to ask forgiveness, which I didn't do right away. I had to go on process. It took me about a half hour. And then I went to her and I said, I'm sorry. You know, this was an unacceptable response. Um, I need to do better. And I'm working on becoming enlightened. Please forgive me. Right? This is how you clean up your energetic field. No one's going to do it for you. When you do this on a consistent basis, here's what happens. The next hour will be actually a little bit better. And because the next hour is a little bit better, heaven is it's much easier for God in heaven to deliver to you what you've asked for because you are allowing your energetic field to be more in a place to receive. You're opening your hands to receive. But it hasn't come yet because you have to be in a constant process of allowing and a constant process of clearing the negativity, sweeping it out, shoveling it out if that's what you need to do, filling your, uh, your space around you with positive energies. Why do you think I beg everybody to download Love, Peace, and Harmony Put it in every one of your environments, your work, your home, your car, and everywhere, and sing it all the time. Why? Because you are providing the most positive potential environment that you can outside of your headspace. Now you need to take responsibility for your headspace. And you, you, you don't do that once in a while. You do it all the time. And I know stuff comes up and I know that ran random phone call jerks you out of your headspace and I know that email jerks you out of your headspace and I know when you go to the mailbox and you see another bill it jerks you out of the right headspace
but it is your responsibility to not allow it to do so. It is your responsibility in those moments to say, you know what? It's not something I can control. It's obviously already done. And I just need to have the right positive mindset about it and know that somehow it will work out. I don't know how, but I know it will work out because I love God, I trust God, and, uh, and God loves me. And God wants the best for me. This is and needs to be your automatic default. It needs to not be words. It needs to be truth. You need to say it until you believe it and believe it until you say it. I'll repeat it. I can't do anything about this, whatever it is that triggers you. Okay? It is what it is. All I can do is adjust my mind space around it and bring the most positive potential result to this that I can. I know God wants the best for me. I want the best for me. I don't know how it's going to work out yet, but I know that God will work it out. I know that God will bring me the solution. And again, plug in the word God. You don't like the word God? Plug in Krishna. Plug in Jesus. Plug in Buddha. Plug in the universe. Plug in any word that's comfortable to you. This is not a religious teaching. This is a common sense spiritual teaching. What does this consciousness do? It allows us to operate in forgiveness. It allows us to state with uh, a conscious awareness what is not working for you? And each time you catch yourself and each time you reset the auto response triggers, because trust me when I tell you they are auto response triggers, you will discover that the next moment is a little bit better. And so is the next moment. Why? Because we are manifestors. We are souls created in the likeness of creator here to experience and when we come into this experience, we have our uh, soul filled with all of our lifetimes of our positive and negative messages. And we are here to shovel them out and fill up our soul with good ones. That's what we're here for. And when we remain unconscious or irresponsible for that, you're not going to manifest what you want. It's just not going to happen. Heaven is one million percent of the time trying to give you everything you're asking for they are shoving it towards you a million percent of the time and we're like nope don't want it nope don't need it nope i like my negativity nope i am right and they're wrong hm. so we push it away it is us that is causing the not allowing it is us that is causing the lack of manifestation but every time we stay in that positive space and reset and every time we do forgiveness we are making a bigger light field around us we are setting and resetting our positivity now I know some of you may have depression some of you may have anxiety some of you may have fears some of you may have all of those but guess what the root cause is guys the root cause is you I point to me you point to you we are the root cause of all of our fears, all of our anxiety. Well, I didn't cause it. It just came to me. What did I ever do to deserve this? That's not taking responsibility. That's being a victim. Okay? We have to go, all right, I am a spiritual being. I need to be responsible. How do I clear these things that are not allowing me to be in a positive, uplifted receiving kind of space how do i clear these we apply master shah's wisdom what does he give us he's given us 24 books in all of his books he has transmitted heavens what's above a soul heaven is above a soul soul heart mind energy matter do you want to try to transform things down here at the level of our monkey mind or do you want to try to transform things above our monkey mind? We have to go above what's been harming us. Get it? So we bring heaven's power to the table. Allow it to assist us. We get some of his books. And we go through there and we read them and we apply the practices. And heaven's positive shen qi jing. Heaven's positive soul, heart, mind, energy, matter. They're positive energy. 
melts our negative ones. Yay! Our heart becomes more open, more allowing. Good. We receive the transmissions in the books, blasts out the darkness, brings in more positive energy. Yay! That's another step up. We get his newer books with the calligraphies in it. The calligraphies, they carry the highest frequencies, the highest positive energies of the source creator. And when we trace them, they literally come into our soul and they erase <laughs> and flush out the old negative energies. Who doesn't want to do that? We all want to get rid of our negative energies, but it's really, 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 really hard when all we can depend on is uh, the mind, right? Psychology is awesome. But if it hasn't done anything in the last 20 years, then consider adding to it uh, addressing things at the root cause. What's another way you can do it? Join the Tao Chong. What is the Tao Chong? It means source field. What is the source field? It is the highest grouping of positive messages, energies, and frequencies. Think of, think of yourself as a bottle of water where the dirt has settled into the bottom. And that's why you can't manifest things. And when you start pouring water into that bottle, it starts stirring up the dirt, doesn't it? And, it, and then the dirt rises up and it flushes out the side as the new water comes in and it keeps flushing out the side and flushing out the side. And after you run that water in there for a long time, the water in the bottle is pure, isn't it? The Tao Chong is exactly that. It is like flushing your dirty bottle of all the unpleasant things that are creating a lack of allowing, a lack of receiving. It is flushing them out. Every time you go to the source field, go to any of the centers, there's eight in the world, pay the 35 or $50, whatever it is, it is priceless. Because every time you pay that, what are you doing? You're removing the crud, which allows for life to come to you. It allows for positive relationships. It allows for positive money to come to you. You put a little bit out, you get a hundredfold in return. You just keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it. This is the wisdom that everybody fails to comprehend. Master Shah is by far the most giving soul on earth. He has given every seven billion souls in humanity tools to clear out lifetimes of crud. A vast majority of those tools are, are free. And the highest power ones you got to pay a little bit for. And all you got to do is show up. So how do we allow ourselves to receive? We consciously remove the blockages. We consciously, purposefully step into responsibility. We bring into our environment all things positive and disallow all things that are not positive into our environment. And then, when, when possible, get blessings. Join the Tao Chong. Trace the calligraphies. Receive the transmissions. This has to be on a consistent basis, right? Has to be on a consistent basis. You know, the river downstream can get pretty dirty, but the river upstream is clean, isn't it? And so you want to keep moving upstream where the cleaner water is. And you do that by keeping this stuff in your life. If you take it out of your life and you say, okay, I'm done, I feel good now, more dirt could come into your stream. So it's a constant process. You don't reach enlightenment or adding light to your body by stopping, okay? This is a marathon, not a race. And it is something that you need to do for the duration of your life. How hard is it? Okay, I'll be positive the duration of my life. Okay, I'll stop allowing toxic people into my life for the duration of my life. That's a good choice. Okay, I will start taking responsibility for every unpleasant thing in my life, do forgiveness practices with everyone, at least at the level of soul if I can't do it in person, and I will take those responsibilities and I will start improving, improving, improving. And you will witness everything you've been asking for start to enter your life. You will witness trust, you will witness allowing, you will witness blessings, financial relationship and otherwise, they will improve steadily and consistently if you follow these common sense suggestions. 
this kind of wisdom has been taught. It's been taught by Wayne Dyer and other very well-educated people. Uh, they all say the same things in their own language. I've only condensed it down and kind of spoken to you in a very forthright, matter-of-fact way. I basically said, let's cut through the BS. Let's cut through the, the uh, lack of responsibility. Let's get real here, folks. And I just, da 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 That might resonate with some of you. It might not with others. But the key is, as, as nice as this might sound, as logical as it may sound, uh, as soon as this live stream's done, <laughs> your eyes are going to step back into your life. And trust me, all of those positive and negative uh, messages on your soul, they're still there. And they're still there at the same 100% level. Just because your mind liked the mind food and your heart resonated with the message doesn't mean you're not going to step back into that field, that mind field that could blow you up. So you have to apply the wisdom. If you don't apply it, it was a, it was a complete waste of time. <clears throat> you have to make agreements with yourself. You have to put into place in your physical life something that causes you to stop going down that patternistic road of auto response. You have to make a mental agreement. Okay, the next time, like me, when I you know, flew off in anger, why did I stop in that eight seconds? Because I made an agreement with myself that as soon as I'm conscious that I you know, had an automatic fly off in anger, that I would just instantly stop and I would let it go, and I would know that somehow it's going to work out, that it's just the way it is, can't change it. Now, I'm getting better, but the, uh, the idealist scenario is where I don't even have the anger flash, right? But it's a pattern, and it's a negative energy at my soul level, and I have to do forgiveness to, to remove those roots, and I have to receive blessings to remove those roots. But at least I'm trying to be conscious. No one's going to be conscious for you except you. So that means you have to step into that role and after this live stream say I'm willing to do that okay so we're going to use uh, one of Master Shah's tools for helping us we're going to use something from this book called soul healing miracles <clears throat> this is his first book where he starts talking about his calligraphies and he has uh, created more books since then with excellent calligraphies in them and we're going to use one for inner beauty and outer beauty. And the reason we're going to use inner beauty and outer beauty is because our inner beauty reflects to our outer beauty. <clears throat> inner beauty has many attributes, uh, which I'm not going to go into now. But they uh, start with the heart being open. And they start with the expression of forgiveness, with being in the right positive mind space. And... Uh, what causes our inner beauty to be tainted? The negative thoughts, words, actions, the negative messages that are staying with our soul. <clears throat> so by tracing this calligraphy of inner beauty, outer beauty, and for those that do have this, this book, please pick it up and you can trace with me. Uh, it is the figure number 16 is the figure number. And... Uh, we're cleaning out the house so we can welcome the guests, is the term Master Shah uses. Clearing the house to welcome the guests. What are the guests? The guest is the financial blessings we're requesting. The guest is the positive, loving relationship we, we deserve, right? Uh, we got to clear the house to make room for the guests. And so we do inner beauty, which creates our outer beauty. You know people who are ugly on the outside? They're mean, they're nasty, they're not nice people. Guess what? They have a very closed heart. They have a great deal of pain. They have a great deal of negative messages on their soul. And unfortunately, they're happy to share them with us externally through their thoughts, words, and actions. And we have to protect ourselves. We do that by forgiving them and recognizing that that person must be in a lot of pain to be so verbally unpleasant towards us or do a verbal action so unpleasant. That means they're in a lot of pain. It also means they have a lot of negative messages on their soul. And we don't need their stuff on us, and we don't need to be changed by their stuff, right? So we have to be self-responsible. We do that by saying, I love myself. I don't deserve any of this. I'm going to forgive them, and I'm going to ask for forgiveness. <clears throat> if by chance I did anything like they're doing to me, 
in this or any lifetime, I'm going to ask for forgiveness because maybe I was a jerk like they're being a jerk towards me. And if I was, I ask forgiveness to you. If I've ever been this way to anybody and, this, and to you, uh, and, and you've been a jerk to me, but I'm going to forgive you because I really don't want to create um, an imbalance between us. I just want to move forward in love. This is a consciousness, okay? And so that's what you need to do. So now uh, I'm going to trace on behalf of all you, those that have the books. <clears throat> I invite you to not only trace for yourself, but to trace for everybody else. And we do it like this. Dear the soul of the calligraphy in Master Shah's Soul Healing Miracle book, Guang Liang Hao Mei. Guang Liang Hao Mei, which translates to inner beauty, outer beauty. And all of the blessings within, all of the positive messages, the positive information, the positive frequency, energy, and matter within. I love you, and I appreciate you. Could you radiate your greatest love and light forgiveness to all of those that are watching today on this live stream? Please bless them to open their heart and soul to practice more and consistently to take responsibility to offer and ask forgiveness and to constantly keep themselves as much as possible in a place of positive responsibility for their heart their mindsets, and therefore their energy and matter. Please bless them so that they can receive and allow the reception of all that they ask. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> so now, if you do not have this calligraphy, close your eyes to receive, and my suggestion, silently, talk to your creator. Talk to all of the souls. Say, please forgive me any negative energies I have brought into your world. Please forgive me any negative thoughts, words, and actions I brought into your world. Uh, if it's about money, right, please forgive me. Any times I have taken advantage of you, harmed you financially, and as a result, I have negative messages at my soul that's not allowing me to receive money. Whatever it is you want to focus on, that's what you would ask forgiveness for. And do that silently while this blessing is occurring, okay? Let us begin. Ling Guang Liang Hao Mei 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 Inner beauty, outer beauty Inner beauty, outer beauty 
Inner beauty, outer beauty. 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 光亮好美，光亮好美<咳>，光亮好美，光亮好美，光亮好美。光亮好美，光亮好美，光亮好美。And now I will chant Yang to balance the Yin and Yang. 光亮好美，光亮好美，光亮好美，光亮好美。Inner beauty, outer beauty. Inner beauty, outer beauty. Inner beauty, outer beauty. Inner beauty, outer beauty. Guang liang hao mei. 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 Keep your eyes closed. I will offer a soul reading as to the power and significance of what you have received today. How? This is the soul of the mother. Each of you are God's creator. Each of you are God's creations formed and born as creators each of you have gotten lost on your journey enlightenment is the opposite of being lost those that are enlightened those that you know can move from place to place universe to universe they can even move from time to time because they are not abounded by the yin yang world that you are in your soul is here because your positive and negative energies are not in alignment with the oneness of the source as co-creators of your experience you can should and are responsible for all that you have created in your world the one you know as master Shah has been delivered to humanity and been empowered to deliver within many unique tools the ability to uproot and remove your root blockages. All that is required is your assistance and your persistence. That is all. If you truly desire to receive all that you have requested, then please know that the only thing holding the massive blessings sitting at the borders of your soul is you. Follow the guidance, follow the wisdom, and the abundance will flow in from all directions you are blessed this is the mother
好，好，好 ，Thank you, Thank you, Thank you. What a beautiful message, huh? <coughs> so heaven、uh, gave me a wonderful download today.、Uh, I chose this subject about thirty minutes before I actually started the live stream. I did not have an agenda. I did not know what I would teach or how it would flow out. But there you have it. I hope it has served you. If it has, I recommend you keep this URL. Listen more than once. Definitely recommend you、uh, follow the guidance. It will help you to have a far more wonderful life. I want to honor and offer my deepest gratitude to the divine the source, to the original creator of all life, to my spiritual father, Master Shah, to all of the beings of light that came today. I want to offer my gratitude to all of you,、uh, because without you, we could not spread this information. This is not about、uh, the words that were shared today. It's about everything coming back to oneness, and that can only happen if you apply it and if you share with others.、Uh, bring people to the Dao Chang. Bring people to Master Shah's centers. Bring people to the wisdom. There is the newer books. Are very very neutral, divine love, very neutral. There's not a soul on this planet that wouldn't benefit from that book. So start、uh, bringing this wisdom and this healing knowledge to humanity. We need it desperately for us as an entire being, a entire race to move forward. Okay. So thank you for your presence. Thank you for your comments. I've been able to glance down. I appreciate the the positive messages. I love you all. I look forward to serving you on Thursday, and I will see you then. Bye, bye, everybody.